one of the reasons why you might not be getting better or you're not getting the adaptation in your patellar tendon that you want is because you are not going heavy enough in your lifting phase. Looking back at this patellar tendon paper in stage two, the isotonic phase, the normal lifting phase, they referenced another study for what you should follow. This is where they use the leg press squat and the hack squat. And they started out in week one with a 15 rep max. And by weeks nine to 12, they were down to a six rep max. Now we need to ask, what is the problem with this? If we look at this 2022 opinion piece by Jill Cook and Scott Morrison, they talk about the strain that you need to create the mechanical change in the tendon. And they cited a few different studies that showed you need a load of 60% to 90% of a one rep max to get the changes in the tendon. They later said it may be better to view prescriptions based on loads of greater than 70% as a good starting bet to increase the probability of achieving the necessary tendon strain for adaptation. So for a tendon, a heavy load is going to be better than a light load. But how do you lift these heavy loads when you have to load slow? Because if you load too rapidly, the tendon will respond differently than it will if you lift faster. So if you're choosing to use the old advice of a 15 rep max, and let's say you're doing a three second eccentric and a three second concentric, there is no way you're going to be able to use a 70% or greater load. So what I would suggest is if you're new to lifting or you've taken significant time off due to patellar tendon pain, it's probably okay to start with very light sessions that is nowhere near your 70% max. But once you have got adjusted to that, once that soreness is gone, once the shock of getting back into lifting is gone, you need to load with a very heavy weight. So if you're doing squats and split squats for your quadriceps and patellar tendon and you're in the isotonic stage, you're controlling down, you're controlling up, you need to use a load that is about a six rep max or heavier. This idea was summed up in the paper where they said, while moving forward with the management of tendinopathy, it may be necessary to ensure that the heavy is put into the heavy slow resistance approaches. So try that out. Hopefully that helps. Enjoy.